All right, out here on Thruston. So give you a little view of your neighborhood here. Now you've got a little pitch to the yard, pitch to the driveway, not a huge, huge deal. But there is a little bit of pitch there. And you've got your main road right there, which is not a big deal. It's actually pretty convenient. Um, come out here, turn right, you go to downtown Dayton, turn left, you go into downtown Oakwood. So you're pretty convenient to everywhere you wanna go. Three dimensional roof up top looks super clean. All the flashing around the chimney looks good. Um, your chimney, a little bit older, some water stains there, but that's not unheard of. But all the flashing and all the, uh, from down here anyway, it all looks like it's in good shape. Tons of parking space out here. Two car garage. Paver walk going back to the back and we'll check out the back here in just a minute. They're run, running their drainage underground, which is good. Lots of ivy, they like the ivy. It's a nice stamped concrete walk going up to the front. Porch is in good shape. One little stress crack there, nothing crazy. Your air conditioner's out front here. It doesn't look like it's in bad shape. It's a Linux model, but they've got all that ivy just everywhere around it, so that needs cleaned up. Not a huge deal, but it just needs cleaned up a little bit. Coming in on the front door. I love this flooring. I love the hand scraped look of the flooring. I don't know if that's coming through in the picture, in the video for you or not. But the hand scraped look there is great. Straight in front of you, you've got closet space. That's an instant light that comes on when you open up the door. There is your front door, and it's nice to have this little entryway too. That way your front door just doesn't open up into your living room. A view of your living room. Flows out into the dining room. to the dining room. You've got the control for the humidifier here, which is nice. That way you don't have to worry about going downstairs to control the humidifier. Here's your dining space, flows into the kitchen. Before we peek at that kitchen, let's peek at the back. We do have a retaining wall back there. It's also got a very nice deck that hasn't really even seen a whole lot of weathering. It needs some stain. But again, not a huge, huge deal. Nice pergola out here. And the retaining wall that goes back up into a flatter part of the yard, more usable part of the yard. Still pitched towards the house just a little bit, but that's the purpose of the retaining wall to keep that from uh, hitting your basement too much because all your yard right here is super flat. All right, do have a little bit of traffic noise from the main road out there, but nothing crazy. Let's take a look at our kitchen here. Granite countertops, new cabinets. These are the soft clothes cabinets, so very nice. New appliances. These tall cabinets too, those are the 42 inch. Not bad at all. I like the placement of the uh, microwave as opposed to having a microwave up above your stove. Maybe it's because I see it so often. Um, I like not having a microwave above the stove. This takes us down into our basement and garage space here. Older garage door, but not a big deal. Still in decent shape. Needs a coat of paint, nothing huge. It's a garage, nothing to write home to mom about. And then from here, we'll come down into our basement. Really cool basement. When you get down here, it obviously gets cooler, um, as all basements do. They've got the glass block windows up, which is really nice. Helps keep the place dry. But it doesn't feel musty or 
you know, overly humid down here. Now your furnace is a matched unit with the air conditioner outside. It is a high efficiency Linux. It's a little bit of an older model, but looks to be in pretty good shape. Your inspections will tell you if there's any issues with it. And then they've serviced it pretty regularly. Water heater is a 2009, so you got 11 years on this. Um, an expected life for a water heater, if it's taken care of, 15 to 20 years, so you still got some life left in it. And it opens right up into our huge living space down here. Um, Non-functioning fireplace, no big deal. It's really just there for aesthetics. Now, this wall and this wall, these are just your foundation walls. These aren't drywall framed finished walls. And here you've got storage with an automatic light again. Just a little bit of storage. I think maybe somebody did some canning or something like that. You can see the mark on the wall where the canning um, sealer would have been. I think somebody did some preserves or something like that. Back in here, it's just your panel box. Again, with glass block windows everywhere. And just a half bathroom, really nice to have in the basement. And then your bar. Give you another view of the whole place. You do have a floor drain there as well. And this is a wet bar, so all the plumbing's there. So 106 days on the market on this house. Four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. Just under 3,000 square feet. And this would be your laundry area down here. All right. Let's turn some of these lights off. And we'll head upstairs. Really nice kitchen. I like some of the touches they put in here, like uh, the USB wall chargers. Now your windows are a little bit older, but they're still doing a really good job of insulating against any noises. There's one of our bedrooms, no light in this bedroom. Closet space in the bedroom is not bad. It's standard for the for the age of the build. So this one was 1943. Bathroom's really nice. Tile work looks to be in pretty good shape. They did a good job with it. And there's your other downstairs bedroom. Bigger closet space in here. Nice little walk in. I think we have seen everything down here so far. Maybe one more kind of roundabout view. to the front door for a point of reference and we will go up the stairs not a big temperature change as you're walking up the stairs either there's your upstairs bedroom nice little dormer little desk or something there. 
and then this big mamma jamma of a bedroom. Nice little dormer here with some seating and some storage. It's a cool little pop out here with your closets. Automatic light. This comes back into here with a ridiculous amount of closet space. That's a lot of space. They did, they made really, really good use of finishing attic space. And another little closet there. And the master bath. The buildings are gorgeous. I love that these are still in such good shape. I like that they used a pedestal sink instead of a full vanity there to save some space. You get your laundry chute right there. And then your shower. It's really nice. You did a good job in here. It makes me wonder why it's been on the market for a hundred and some days, but they're trying to sell, you know, a $400,000 house in the middle of a pandemic. That's, that's the problem some higher priced homes are facing right now. And this is actually a pretty cool setup in here with all the baskets. And more closet space, more storage space. They made really good use of all the space they have in here. From here, you can get a little bit better view of the roof. The roof's in really, really good shape. Gutters are clean. I think that is about it for this room. We didn't miss anything, did we? I don't think so. Nope, don't think so. All right. So overall, from what I can see, it's a good house. Um, for its age, 1943, I don't feel any funny settling or, um, you know, there's no strange cracks showing the age of the house or any problems with the foundation. The basement doesn't smell musty, doesn't feel humid while you're down there. Overall, it's a quality house. I don't think price is so much the issue as they just chose a rough time to sell. So, that being said, I'll get this uploaded to YouTube and send this right over to you so you can let me know what your thoughts are. We'll talk soon.